and Terry, would you just clap? Is it rolling, Bob? We'll set those controls for the dark side of the moon. My name is Terry Hooley, and I'm so glad to be home, and I believe I have a message for every man, woman, and child. Good Vibrations was first and foremost a record shop. It was a community centre and it was an advice centre and I was like an agony hunt. It was a, a little oasis in a, a desert of madness. <music> Belfast was being blown apart by IRA and loyalist murder gangs were going out and killing poor Catholics. There were certain pubs that we would drink in, or certain pubs that we wouldn't drink in. We'd be hugging each other good night, and my friends would walk away, and I never saw them again. The punks to me are my heroes because it was very dangerous to be a punk in Belfast in those days. The paramilitaries controlled their own areas, and to stand up and be a punk was to be different. You know, it didn't matter whether your orange or green, it didn't matter. Your hair was pink or purple. It was the first time in a decade that young people got together. <laughs> Belfast has come on leaps and bounds in the last 15 years since the ceasefire. I mean, I love the ceasefire. It's 14 years since anybody's tried to assassinate me. There's thousands and thousands of people at the weekend here, but 35 years ago, you wouldn't have seen a person down the streets in this area at all. I'm fed up of all the sectarian murals, murals of paramilitary gunmen around Belfast. I want to see more murals like this. David McWilliams, a uh, guy light body out of Stoke Patrol. This is meant to be me. It looks like a scary Halloween mask. Fergal Sharkey from The Undertones. Jim Riley out of Stiff Little Fingers. Uh, Seamus Heaney, the poet, who's a great man, friend, and Glory Gallagher, who I love dearly. Kirk Cobain took ill in Belfast, and he took him to Royal Hospital, and he told the porters, I don't mind if I die in Belfast because the home of good vibrations. It was a derelict building and we didn't know whether a good, good vibrations shop would work. So we had a whole food shop downstairs called Sassafras. I had the middle floor and my mate Dave had the community printing press upstairs, which was great because he used to print the covers of our our records. We were such a wee small label, insignificant label. We just wanted to put Northern Ireland back in the map, but we just wanted to tell people there was more going on in Belfast than the bombs. Giving up cigarettes next week. Our, our good vibrations uh, Christmas card. <laughs> This here is a mural that they did after John Peel died. A non-sectarian bit of graffiti, it made people smile, it made people remember John Peel. The first DJ ever in the history of the BBC to play a record twice in a row, which was Teenage Kicks. And on his grave, he has Teenage Kicks so hard to beat. And thank you, John, for everything. Well, this is, uh, this is a photograph of me and my daughter, Anna, in the shop that we had in North Street Arcade. We used to party in it every Thursday night. It was nice we didn't even go home. I got a phone call and said, Arcade's in front. I said, what well, party? I said, it's all the way. Well, it's taken me 10, 10 years to get over losing all the stock in that shop. And I hadn't had a drink for two weeks. I went and had a drink that night. The stuff that I had hidden away for years in a garage, for emergency. So one shop went bankrupt and, and we opened up a week later <laughs> with all this stuff. <laughs> the, the shop is closed and opened 11 times. <laughs>
I've never been a businessman. I've never been interested in money. In fact, very often I meet people and they go, Terry, I remember going into your shop in Belfast and I didn't have enough money to buy an album. You just went, there, pay me someday. John Lee Hooker, I love. Don't look back to the days of yesteryear. We cannot live on in the past. Classic. Marvin Gaye's What's Going On is my all-time favorite record in the world. Just like turning people on to good music. Belfast is still a real punk stronghold. We never thought we were doing anything important at the time, and, and now it's become very important, and it's very important especially to all the old punks. And people were coming up to the pub and saying thank you for everything because if it wasn't for punk, we would have ended up shooting people, we would have ended up in jail, our lives would have been destroyed, now we're happily married and kids, and you saved our lives. Rock and roll, in many cases, is about being in the right place at the right time. And years ago, it might have been a disadvantage to come from Belfast, but certainly not now.